Hey guys, Gary J here. We're going to be looking at a beautiful knife here made by J.A. Lone Wolf. J.A. Lone Wolf. And I purchased this knife uh, gee, probably about 17 years ago, I think. And I wanted kind of like a Bowie style knife, a mountain man knife. And uh, J.A. Lone Wolf, uh, his mother was Apache. And uh, he is a skilled uh blacksmith and artist as well uh, incredible fellow hard working man works six days a week makes a lot of damascus steel he makes the uh damascus steel the old-fashioned way uh of course um forging uh the steel and i'd ask him about it it's been a it's been a, a good while since i've talked to him until uh just recently and um, he folds the steel, and I forgot, he uses like five layers of steel and, and uh, like seven layers of nickel or something like that, uh, and, you know, heats it up and uses uh, what I remember talking to him about when his uh, process of making his blades was he used a magnet on the blade, you know, you can heat it up, and I think when it gets around 1,400 and... 35 degrees, something like that. The molecular structure changes in the steel and the magnet won't stick. So then you know uh, you can take it out of the furnace and fold it. And uh, I think this has like 200 layers or so on this particular Damascus. Uh, you can see the beauty of that work right there. Now, uh, Jay Longwood. Uh, he has this has it stamped here, Lone Wolf, and it's like a bear paw, I think, right here underneath it. And that's one of the ways you can tell that this is J.A. Lone Wolf. There are some other companies out there called Lone Wolf Companies, and they are not the same. They're not J.A. Lone Wolf, um, this great artist and uh, metalsmith. If you look at this blade right here again, um, look at the top of it, the way it's notched out. Just beautiful work, beautiful design. And since uh, Jay Longwolf is also an artist, they have a special ability to design, I think, steel too, you know, with artistic flair. If you look at this uh, point right here, uh, it comes up and uh, has that little flare like that. And it's got a thick guard right here. And this beautiful handle right here is made out of, uh, I believe this is an elk handle with a buffalo horn uh, butt piece right here on the end of it. And uh, he did this uh, scrimshaw work on it, which is really beautifully done. And uh, that's part of his artistic side of him. And he, he does a lot of scrimshaw on his knives and handles and stuff like that. He makes smaller knives too. You know, look at this beautiful handle. But his prices are, to me, pretty reasonable for, you know, the kind of work that he uh, does right here. And uh, he makes a lot of shorter knives than this right here. Now, this blade right here is uh, eight and a half inches long. And that's kind of what I wanted. And that handle is about five and a quarter inches long. So you got about a 13 and a half inch blade, I mean, knife here, overall length. And uh, that's that's really what I wanted. But um, there are, again, other companies called Long Wolf, but they don't have this logo or this, uh, like a bad paw print right here, maybe. You can see that. If you... Uh, if you like this kind of blade right here, these kind of knives made the old-fashioned way, made by a great artist and a very talented man, and I've been really pleased with this blade right here, uh, you can look up J.A. Lone Wolf under uh, Knives by Lone Wolf .com, Knives by Lone Wolf .com. And he's still making knives, and he makes them six days a week, and he does a lot. Most of it's Damascus steel like this, and he's still forging. 
and doing beautiful work and a hardworking man and a great artist too. And on his webpage, you can see uh, some of his beautiful work and his artistic skills as well. And uh, just an incredible individual to find someone like that. It was in North Carolina, I think, when I when I purchased this knife right here in the mountains, and uh, he's he's in Georgia now, where I live in Georgia, too. So I'm not sure exactly what part of Georgia he's in, but uh, he's truly a great artist. One more look at this uh, Damascus here, and. Uh, he told me, you know, uh, I talked to him not long ago, and I haven't talked to him in years and years and years. But um, I was telling him you know, how good his work was and how much I appreciate it. And uh, he told me, he said, you know, you can send it back to me, and I can clean it up, and I can uh, uh, sharpen it, whatever you need. And then it won't cost you anything except for shipping, you know. And uh, that's really nice to know. A lot of, I guess... Knife guys, you know, may or may not do that, but uh, that's really nice of him to do that. I think when I first got this knife right here, uh, I took some gun blue, uh, just real light gun blue to go over this blade right here and I wiped it off just to uh, make these uh, Damascus patterns pop out a little bit more. And... Uh, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want much gun blue on that. Wipe it off real good and maybe polish it out a little bit just to see the beauty of that Damascus. So, um, again, if you if you want a knife that looks like this, that's really beautiful, handcrafted, uh, Jay Lone Wolf would be a great uh, gentleman to do business with. I would highly recommend him. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Gary James.